Hi, this will be a reading for the collective. It's not attached to a zodiac sign, a timeline, anything like that. The idea is when you come across it, um, it should benefit you in some way, or it's when you're ready to hear the message. I'm gonna ask the question, how can you improve yourself? What are you maybe overlooking? and you know, overall spiritual insight. If you enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and definitely feel free to check out the extended version on my Patreon, which is the first link in the description below. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is such an incredibly clear message that it's um, almost comical. This says to become clear on what you want, or I don't know, maybe you have a clouded mind. It seems like there's an incredible amount of anxiety here. And it, it, it can also suggest that you observe all these different things you could do, all these paths you could take, but you never quite settle on anything. So you end up sort of walking away from potential or walking away from sort of becoming your best self. And this is causing an incredible burden on you and it probably has for some time. And it sort of leaves you in this place of feeling dumbfounded, discontent, or like you're not making any progress. It also probably brings about, I'll clarify this. And it, it seems like, you know, I would maybe get, get that together because it kind of seems like there's a lot of opportunity here or, um, it kind of suggests the world moving quickly. It also may suggest like suspicion of others. And it's interesting though, you know, because the thing is, it's like your outcome especially when it's sort of talking about the internal experience. It's like, if you just take a leap of faith, there's a lot of success or victory in some way. Um, you know, and that can often come from a trauma response, you know? So it, it could sort of allude to there's internal work that needs to be done. Advice.
this suggests a couple of things. For one, it kind of suggests to take time to meditate or sit still, reflect in some kind of way, and decide what's worth fighting for. It, it, it kind of suggests to um, heal your relationship with the world and with others and perhaps with family. You know, it, it could talk about bringing more balance into your life. Also, it does sort of suggest that um, there could be a lot of benefits through learning, um, through exploring things that you don't really know about. Clarify this. Yeah, because it kind of suggests that you find clarity in a lot of ways, but you don't trust yourself. And when you don't trust yourself, you find yourself tiring yourself out. Um, because you end up, like we, as like people, we end up fighting problems that don't exist. And so inevitably, you're going to... Um, deplete your energy that way. So in a lot of ways, the whole thing talks about getting right with yourself, maybe addressing some traumas. Like, I don't know if that's maybe like a long time needed or something, but you know, in a lot of ways, it just sort of suggests to stop fighting with yourself. And just, you know, also, I, this is sort of a side note. Um, if you have a tendency to daydream, maybe um, it's time to sort of, you know, snap into reality a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if it was beneficial, definitely leave a like, a comment, share it, um, subscribe. I'm gonna take it a bit further on my Patreon. Um, that is the first link in the description below. So if you wanna um, join us there, it's a wonderful community. And um, all of my extended content goes there. Uh, my exclusive content goes there. I have live streams there and so on. So, and if you wanna book a personal reading with me, that is also available um, in the description below. If you go to my website, you can access readings with me there, um, as well as artwork for sale. So that being said, see you on Patreon or have a great night.